guys, I'm R with Out Bay, and today I just want to show you a quick taco salad dressing, okay? It's very easy. All you're going to need is, I'll give you the um, measurements in the description, okay? So here, mayonnaise. Yeah, the recipe will be in the description. I'll, just, I'll link it to you guys so you can have it there. Okay, and this even goes well on a burger. You know, it's just something different if you're having Taco Tuesday. And then you've got some taco sauce. What kind are you are you using? This is um, paste, I think, because it, the one I like, I can't find it any longer. So I think this is just regular paste. Does not suck when you get something you really like. They stop making it. I mean, I think it. I think some of you guys out there have, have felt that pain. Yeah, definitely. And some fresh lime juice. A little bit of water. A little bit of garlic. Fresh garlic. Don't use the bottled stuff. Hey, I'm lazy. If you're lazy like me, it doesn't <laughs> taste as good, but hey, it gets the job done. So And some fresh cilantro. That's it, guys. And then you just, I mean, just give it a stir and then I'll whisk it. Don't want to make a big old mess on camera. I know. Now, it looks very watery. The first time I made it, I thought, oh my gosh, I must have put too much liquid in. But this is the way it's supposed to be, and it's full of flavor. Look at that. We're done. I'm just going to give it a quick whisk to make sure. But that's it. See how... See how easy it is to whip up something nice for your taco salad? Tacos, whatever, nachos, burgers. It's fantastic and it's full of flavor. Okay, that's it guys. Check this out. And I usually just store it in a mason jar to keep in the fridge for about five days, I'd say, but it doesn't last that long. But that's, you can have it if you need to, but it's really good. Uh, Bay's gonna walk in in a minute and we'll let him give you a taste test, okay? He's had it before, but he can describe it to you. All right, grab a snack. I'll see you when he gets here. Okay, we're back. Bay made it home, and I forgot to tell you, add some salt and pepper to taste. Okay, so Bay is gonna try it and describe it to you. He's had it before, but yes, he, hasn't, him... he hasn't described it to them before, though. Okay. I don't know how good I am at describing. Well, we'll see. Yeah, we'll be the judge of that. Mm, a little tangy, almost a little sweet. A little spice, depending on your taco sauce that you use. You know, whether you're using mild, medium, or hot, that's going to determine this also. Yeah, so you, so you use your favorite taco sauce. You make this, whatever your favorite taco sauce is, use that one. Like I said, it's great on nachos, on a burger, on taco a burrito, salad. taco salad, um, tacos, fries. you know. I think you can even dip fries in I think it might be good. What do you think? He's not a fry dipper, though. He's. Right. Do you guys dip fries, yes or no? Steak fries, maybe. Oh, yeah, steak fries. There we go. Mm. Could be good on steak. <laughs> And all okay. I can do is, or steak fries, or I, or the, I meet the steaks, put, that, put it on that too. Yeah. Or with fries, put a little bit of ground beef on the fries and add this on top, like drizzle it over it. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. All right, guys, well, that's it, because I've got all the stuff for tacos tonight, or taco salad, so we're going to eat. We just want to give you this quick recipe. Hope you enjoy it. Try it. Tell them what they need to do. So go below, hit the like button, subscribe, and once you make that, Let's show know. us how you use it. Yeah, tell us if you like it. It's really good. Like I said, you're going to determine your own spiciness depending on your taco sauce, okay? All right, guys, have a great day. We love you for hanging out with us. Spread the love, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.